Where are the new wine glasses? What for? That should be obvious. Oh, God, Tripp, don't turn this into a big production, please. Jesus, Grace, come on. I'm not asking a lot here. What? Tripp? Oh, he's here. What? You said he's coming an hour from now. No, he's right on time. Tripp. Ed. Hi, it's so great to see you. Uh... Well, anyway, uh, why don't you come in? Uh, it'll be just a sec while I go get Ed. Grace. Hi, how are you? I am so happy to see you after so long. Oh, yes, let's... Mm -hmm. And I've got to say, you look really good. So come on in, make yourself at home. Ow, close the door. Ed, seeing you again makes me remember the wonderful times we all used to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've I've missed you. Huh, I just thought of something. What? Well, actually, tonight's a special night. We should celebrate, in fact. What do you mean? Ed, remember it was almost exactly ten years ago tonight that you introduced us? Senior year of college... We really want to thank you for years and years of... Pain? <laughs> Agony. <laughs> love. Uh, yeah, love, yeah. Oh, that! Uh, that's just a little joke advice giver toy thing that I like to consult every now and then. When I need a little guidance. <laughs> His mother gave that to him. Stocking stuffer. <laughs> You know, Tripp, I don't think your little advice ball looks so good on the bar. It's like a funny bar toy. It's lame. It's a crappy piece of plastic sitting next to your fancy crystal cocktail glasses. Ah, uh, Ed, I'm being a bad host. You need a drink. Oh, this is perfect because I, I just bought these classy new cocktail shakers we've got to try out. How about a martini? Oh, you're hugging me. <laughs> Ed. I think you're trying to get on Grace's good side tonight. Oh. Wow, Ed. Grace. You sure are getting your share of affection tonight. Ah, I knew you'd agree. Beautiful. Ed. Trip's getting a little carried away. Maybe you just want some juice or a mineral water? Excellent. It won't take me more than a minute. One martini, two martini, three martini, four. What was that? What do you say, Grace? Skip the Chardonnay and join us in a genuine drink for once? Um, just a glass of Chardonnay for me, please. Ah, Chardonnay, certainly. <sighs> oh, God. Ed, I hope you didn't come here tonight to be entertained. Jesus. Look. I'm gonna leave you two alone to keep what? crazy. What? Where are you other. going? No, no, no. Don't let me interrupt. I'm just going to the kitchen. Ed, I... I can't... How? Trip might be able to hear you. Um, well, uh... Uh... Jesus, what was that? <laughs> Trip, what happened? What? What happened? Ah! I just broke this stupid, huge, Mediterranean soup terrine thing. Wait. Ed? What? Oh. Is this why you came in here to tell me this? No problem, Grace. Everything's hunky-dory. Yes, I know. Everything's fine. You know, ever since we- Ed, would you quit it with that already? You're acting like such a suck-up. So I normally like redecorating, Ed. 
Now be honest with me. Agree that this room just does not work. Grace, come on. What are you talking about? All day long at work, I design ads for stylish objects like this arm. Oh, uh, that brass bull. <laughs> I love that. Isn't Trip, that cool? It's, I've asked uh, you, know, you to do something with that bull. I don't want it in this room. You know that. I know. All right. I'll get rid of it later. Gee. Damn it, Trip. You know I can't stand the sight of that goddamn bull. I want it out of... Jesus Christ. I don't want anything from Barcelona in like this that. apartment. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. Everybody get off my back already. Just leave my little advice toy out of this, okay? It's not hurting anyone. It just gives advice. So, I just had to have this armoire. But I don't know what I was thinking. This is a month. Ugh, oh, well, this armoire is awful, isn't it? If that's how you feel... <sighs> I'm sure I can return most of this and try to start over again on this room. Grace, everything's fine. No one is complaining about your decorating. No, he is just being courteous. This room is not- <gasps> Grace, come on! People like you know, Trip, it! You're the you only one- You convinced me to go into advertising, I could have painted that painting on the wall instead of buying it! No one has a problem with your decorating but you. Yeah. Anyway. Ed, I, I want you to look at this photo from our recent trip to Italy. <sighs> Trip, maybe our friend Grace, would prefer. Just because. What? Trip, trip. It's all right. Our friend is just giving. Ed, what's the deal? Okay, that's cool. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. It's a free country. Ed, come over here and sit on the couch with me. Grace, now, now, Ed. In one word, what does this picture make you think of? Oh, please. No, no, that's not it. Yeah, that's a fine answer. I like that. Yes, that's it. Love. Romance. I knew you'd guess it. <sighs> oh, everything in Italy was so romantic. The scenery, the food, the wine. Oh, and the art. The art. Isn't, isn't that right, Grace? <sighs> Ed, I liked your answer better. Damn it, Grace. I was trying to give us a romantic weekend in Europe together. What is with you and your obsession with Europe? You take enough goddamn business trips there as it is. I'm not obsessed with Europe. I... You want to be seen as the sophisticated traveler. And I missed my friend's art show. What? Who is... Oh, let's not talk about the damn decorating anymore. Ah, oh, you're driving me insane! Goddamn... Sophisticated traveler. When are you going to realize that art is not a career? Is that ever going to sink in for okay. you? Okay, you know what? Ed, I need to ask you something. Trip. Grace, let me ask our guest a question. Ed, yes or no? When you're married, can you try to change the other person to be even better than you yourself are? What? Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, Grace, you think I'm some kind of shallow oh, person obsessed with money that I don't love you. You think our marriage is all just a sham. Oh, yeah, good. Get away from me. I don't want to look at you. God damn. Oh, shit. Ed, from what you said before about helping your spouse, I think that shows us something about Trip. Oh, we're talking about me again, are we? What? Ed, look around this apartment. It's got everything anyone would ever want. But Grace, oh no, she's never satisfied. Trip, ugh, I'm so sick of this. All this stuff, having all this money makes us so happy. We're so happy, aren't we, Trip? Jesus, what do you want? Now you're unhappy because we're too well off? Ed. Does it look like I want to fix you drinks right now? No, let's switch to talking about Trip. See, what I've tried to do... Ed. Ma. Ah. D divorce Ed, you think we should get a divorce? Yes. This is bullshit. You're saying it's over? We should just give up? Yes. 
Oh, this is too much. I can't take this. <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Don't, don't try to, don't, don't try to accuse me of, of, of anything with Maria. Oh, God. No, 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 Grace. Don't, don't even think about that. Look, look. Look, our, our... Oh, God. What is... This is making no sense. Huh. What? I, are you trying to say I, I might not love Grace? What? Yes. Aha. Ed. You think this is all my fault, don't you? You're saying I, I caused all this? I yes? Holy shit! You think I'm to blame! I'm to blame for all this! Ah. Okay, wait, so now you're trying to tell me I'm depressed? Yes? Oh, good. You agree. That might just help him. Well... Ed, I've felt incredibly alone. That's for goddamn sure. Let's talk some more about Trip. Ed? God, that wedding picture. I hate it. Grace, how can you say that? You and my parents had so much fun planning everything. Trip, the bride normally plans the wedding. Jesus, Grace, most women would consider themselves lucky. Ed? That was helpful. Ugh. This painting, well... See, all I really wanted was something personal and... Beautiful and special. Grace. No. No, I don't want to make art, please. Okay. God damn it, I can't do this anymore. Just stop. Ed, I know what you're trying to hint at. About me. About our lifestyle. Do you two want to hear the honest truth, huh? Trip, huh? Yes. Ed. I've actually been paying close attention to what you've been saying tonight. You've really been pushing me. It makes me wonder if you're really my friend. Grace! Ed, I've got to ask you, yes or no. Do you really think that flirting with me, criticizing me, saying that Trip is depressed, telling Trip to make art, suggesting we get divorced? And worst of all, suggesting that Trip doesn't love me, and what you said about trying to make your spouse better. That it's all supposed to make me realize something about myself? Is what you've said tonight supposed to add up somehow to something? Okay. Trip. Through our whole marriage, I've let you dominate me. Dominate you? What? As a kid, my parents took care of everything, bought me whatever I wanted, made decisions for me. But Grace, Trip, I've used you and our apartment full of expensive crap to hide, to avoid responsibility for myself. Oh, come on! I can't don't... avoid growing up forever, Trip. Ed, I, uh, this changes everything. Yes, it does change everything. And no, Ed, please. I think it's over. Grace, no. It's over, Trip. Don't you see that? What? But you just said... I just told you something about me I should have said a long time ago. From the beginning, I've let you control me. And no. Ed, no more. Grace, no. I... We... No, Trip. this is about me. I see now. It's not about you or about our marriage. Me? Our, our marriage? Hey, no, wait! Ed, I'm sorry. But thank you. You, you really helped me. Grace! Grace! Jesus Christ. I should have told her that... I could have told her that... 